Elizabeth, right now you're known for your character in Eastbound and Down. Um, you don't speak English in the series. In the second season, that's true, I don't. Um, although you will uh, see, this season you'll see Maria trying to get by on learning English. She's adapting, trying. She's trying. Does it, does it come as a shock to your viewers if they come into contact with you in person um, to see that you are in fact able to speak perfectly good English? All the time. It was, it was really funny because a lot of people thought, and they asked the guys, thought that they had found me in Mexico. And like they just like sort of picked me up, even though we shot in Puerto Rico, <laughs> mind you. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I uh, on Twitter I get people like that seen interviews with me or have seen um, me, um, you know, I don't know somewhere I was singing something and that I put up online, and they're like, Maria, you speak English, and I was like, I, I do, I, I really do, guys. <laughs> I, I do. That's I'm me. In Texas. <laughs> So do you, well obviously you also know how to speak Spanish, but did you have to take lessons or you grew up with that? No, I, I, I grew up, you know, bilingual, knowing both English and Spanish and, um, you know, it's, it's just something that I've always done. I, I, you know, just speak both languages, you know, very well, I, I, I hope. You, you definitely speak English well <laughs> and the fact that you have a role that's completely Spanish speaking would say the same. Well, true, I think so. I mean, even like the, for this season though, um, with uh, trying to speak English, I had to get a dialect coach because I, I didn't know how to do the accent properly. So I got this fabulous uh, dialect coach uh, who actually, she worked with the women of the help uh, right before she worked with me, which was fantastic. I was like, that's awesome. Like, yay, Viola Davis, yeah. So what's it like to have to go from knowing these two languages to pretending that you don't know? Um, at first it was a little hard because you know, I knew exactly what he was saying, like, especially when they were making jokes. I was supposed to just have no reaction whatsoever. But I know English, so... And they're funny guys. Exactly. And, like, they're so quick. So they're constantly throwing... This is extremely, extremely difficult. So I'm glad, sort of, that this year they sort of, like, let Maria actually understand what was happening around her because I could actually join in on the fun and be like, okay, I get, I get the joke, you know? Now, for my viewers who haven't seen the show, can you just explain a little bit more about Maria? Um, Maria is, um, <laughs> she falls in love uh, with Stevie Janowski, as if, if you haven't seen the show, Stevie Janowski plays uh, Kenny's assistant slash fanboy slash worshiper, I, I, I'm not really sure how you would describe Stevie. She falls in love with Stevie Janowski, and I think that she is someone who, from the very beginning, didn't take much from Kenny, and you will see a lot more of that. Well, I look forward to it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, wait, what can I say? <laughs> That's okay. I totally understand. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. It was great. Thank you so much. You made this easy because I get nervous in interviews. So. Oh well, I'm. You don't seem like it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you.